first part of the particle you're required to make a citrate buffer. This citrate buffer is made up from two solutions, stock A, which is a 0.1 molar disodium citrate buffer, and stock B, which is 0.1 molar HCl. These, both of these solutions have already been prepared for you and are provided in the volumetric flasks. Uh, to make up the citrate buffer, you're each required to make up only one pH solution uh, from the list provided in your manual. For example, if you were asked to make up a pH 2.4 solution, uh, you would be required to take 34.6 mL of the disodium citrate and add it to 65.4 mL of the 0.1 molar HCl. Um, so let's do that. The 34.6 mL of the disodium uh, citrate buffer is poured into a graduated cylinder. This is then added to a volumetric flask uh, that has already been labelled pH 2.4 using a funnel. You will then clean out the uh, graduated cylinder. After you have washed out the graduated cylinder and removed the washings, you will now add the 65.4 mL of the solution B, which is the 0.1 molar HCl. This is now added to solution A in the new volumetric flask. If you have measured correctly, the volume should come right up to the mark. If you have added the amounts correctly, this should come right up to the mark as shown. The next step is to pour a small amount of this new solution into a beaker in order to check the pH. Before you measure your pH solution, it has to be calibrated. In order to do this, the probe is removed from the storage solution. It is washed briefly with water into a waste bucket and then dried with a piece of tissue. It is then inserted into the pH 4 solution and the pH is then calibrated on the machine. After this, the probe is then washed briefly with water again to remove any excess fluid and dried briefly with tissue. It is then inserted into the pH 7 solution where it is then calibrated for pH 7. Once you have the pH machine calibrated you are now ready to measure the pH of your solution by slowly lowering the probe into your solution of named pH. The pH is then measured on the machine. If the pH is too high, you can then proceed to add dropwise HCl in order to lower the pH of the actual solution. If it is too low, you can add a basic solution in order to achieve the correct pH. This is also done while slowly stirring the actual beaker. After you have correctly adjusted the pH to 2.4 or whatever the pH of your required solution might be, you can then store the uh, vo volumetric flask in the fridge at 4 degrees uh, until next week's practical. The second buffer you'll make up is the phosphate buffer. Um, you'll make up. You'll need to make up the stock solutions yourself. Uh, one student uh, from each pair will make solution A, and the other solution uh, solution will be made up by the second student. Um, the first solution is stock A, which is 0.2 molar sodium dihydrogen orthophosphate. For this, you're going to need to work out the amount required to make 100 mL of a 0.2 molar solution, and this is to be done before your lab in the pre-lab pre questions. Once you've weighed out the correct amount of um, sodium orthophosphate, you then add it to roughly 80 mL of water into a beaker. You can also add the washings of the weigh boat to this. You will then add a magnetic flea and transfer it to a magnetic stir. Be sure to 
turn on the stirrer and not the heat. This is then set and the stirrer will now mix the solution for the next few minutes. Once a sufficient amount of the sodium orthophosphate has been dissolved, you can now slowly lower a pH electrode into the solution and check the pH. Once you stop the uh, stirrer, you can then take the beaker off and start to pour the solution into the volumetric flats. You should rinse out the beaker then with roughly about 20 mils of, just short of 20 mils of water, and you can take out the magnetic plate. So make sure you add all the washings to the volumetric flask. And label carefully with the solution name and concentration along with your name and date as these will be stored in the fridge until the following week. So once you reach the neck of the bottle, you can now remove the funnel and add drop boys with the wash bottle until you reach the meniscus. As noted in your handbook, the second student must now make up stock B. Um, you are required to work out the amount required to make 100 mils of this 0.2 molar solution which you need to do pre-lab and follow the exact same steps just shown. So placing 80 mils of distilled water in the beaker with a magnetic flea, adding the appropriate amount of uh, sodium salt, stirring and using the magnetic stirrer until dissolved, checking the pH, pouring into a 100 ml flask um, and making it up to the mark, labelling it carefully with the solution name and concentration, uh, your name and the date. For the final part of making up uh, the second buffer, you're going to take uh, the appropriate amount of solution A, adding to this the appropriate amount of solution B. This is outlined in the table in your manual. For example, for pH 6, we're going to be adding 43.85 mils of solution A with 6.15 mils of solution B. You then need to add the the correct amount of solution B. In this case, six point one five mils for pH six. This is now poured into the same beaker with the magnetic stir, and you move it over then to the magnetic stir and turn the stir on. After this has been uh, homogenized, you can now pour it into a volumetric flask. Once the solution has been mixed, you can now transfer it to a volumetric flask using a funnel. Once you've added the solution, you can make it up to the mark with water. Finally, you can check the pH of the solution before you store it in the fridge for next week.